Hi everyone, it's The Dream Medium and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so currently, as of April 28th, um, I will not be able to do personal readings. So currently, as of today, April 28th, um, I am not available to do personal readings. I will not be available for personal readings until May 13th, okay? So by May 13th, I will be back and I will be uploading more frequently and doing personal readings. Um, but in the meantime, I just thought that I would, you know, give you guys something to watch in the meantime. And so this video is about what you need to know about your love interest. You know, whoever you're interested in or whoever you're dealing with or have been dealing with, what do you need to know about them, okay? So let's get started. So you have three options to choose from, options one, two, and three. You don't have to think hard about your option, but rather just choose the card that is calling out to you, okay? Go ahead and pause this video and just choose the card that is naturally calling out to you, and I'll see you guys. Hi, group one. So let's get started on your reading so that you'll know what you need to know about your love interest, what you need to know about this person that you're dealing with. So, um, you know, my reading is a little bit different. If you are familiar with my channel, I typically do a past, present, and a future spread. But, you know, this is such a direct question. Like, all you need to know is what you need to know about this person, right? So what what I did was just pull three cards about what you need to know. So I'm not really going to go over the past or the present or the future because like I said, it's a very direct question. It's about what you need to know about this person, all right? So looking here, the cards that I pulled out for you was the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Sun card. And I'm literally grinning. I'm like cheesing so hard right now because this person, your love interest, is so incredibly um, optimistic about you and about this connection. You got the King of Pentacles. And what I intuitively sense from this King of Pentacles is that you're dealing with someone who has a lot to offer you. Okay? But, okay. What I'm also getting from this King of Pentacles is like this person isn't sure if you like them, if you want to be with them. And I know, okay, wow. So what I'm also getting from you, the watcher, I literally right when I said that this person doesn't know that you like them, what this card told me is that right when I said that, you, the watcher, sort of like you were taken aback, sort of like you sighed, like, ugh, after after all the things that I've showed him, like, or showed her, like, I've shown them so many times that I like them and they still think that I don't like them or they, you know, they're so oblivious, like, that's just what I got from you is that you're sort of, I guess, your reaction to me saying that sort of makes you kind of frustrated because I'm hearing from you that you're shocked. You're shocked that this person doesn't know that you like them because from your point of view you've you've hinted to them you've expressed this in some way somehow that you do want to be with them that's just so crazy how literally when I said that this person isn't sure how you feel about them I sort of just sense your reaction like I saw I saw you guys group one you guys were like are you serious like I've made it so obvious to this person <laughs> y'all are so cute but this person certainly feels the same way about you and they have so much to offer you like I'm so happy for you guys because you know I'm a very straightforward person I will never ever sugarcoat anything from you guys what the cards tell me is what I will tell you and a lot of times my readings are not the most positive because a lot of people are not dealing with healthy people you know a lot of people are dealing with toxic people and I don't have a problem with telling people that but for you guys your reading is very positive like it's making me so happy I finally have a positive reading um but this person that you're dealing with it's definitely a mutual a mutual feeling okay it's not unrequited 
this person feels the same way for you and they okay so what I'm seeing with this king of pentacles is like this person has imagined what it would be like to to be with you like they just have so much to offer it's like they think about what they can offer you if you guys did get together like I sort of see them being like well you know if if we got together I would be this type of boyfriend to them or I would be this type of girlfriend to them like they're they've planned it out they're sort of thinking like wow if we were dating I would give them flowers every week I would take them out every every weekend like they're already planning okay they're already thinking about how they can cater to you what they can give you if you guys did get together and with this king of pentacles they have so much to offer you guys oh my gosh so you know i did ask for clarity right so you got the king of pentacles the knight of swords and the sun card that popped out and then i asked for clarity for each card so for the king of pentacles you got the ten of cups that clarifies this king of pentacles and this ten of cups wow so i love when my cards confirm my intuition because I was just looking at at the initial cards that you got I wasn't looking at the clarity cards yet but with this ten of cups clarifying this king of pentacles it just confirms what I just said about this person who they have so much to to give you if you guys do get together and they have so much like you remember how I was saying that they're already thinking about the potential of, of this connection if you guys did get together they're already thinking about the little cute things that they can do for you what they can provide for you just they're, they're thinking about the potential they've already fantasized about what what the relationship would be like if you guys did officially get together so I'm seeing this and especially since they don't know how you feel about them this is certainly someone who even if you have known them for a long time, I'm not saying that you guys like dated in the past. I'm saying that this is a new connection. Perhaps y'all are like crushing on each other. Perhaps you have a crush on them or they have a crush on you. Or even if you do know each other, I'm not sensing that there's been like a past between you two. I'm not sensing that you guys have like a history where you guys were, where you guys were like together in the past. Okay. If that makes sense. So what i'm seeing here with this ten of cups like i was saying this person has so much to to give you in this connection if you guys do officially or formally get together the ten of cups um symbolizes completion it symbolize it symbolizes a lot of satisfaction that you will get from this connection right this is completion you have all ten cups and especially with the rainbow the rainbow in the background it symbolizes happiness it symbolizes satisfaction this person this is someone who the ten of cups also symbolizes um a connection that leads to a long-term commitment so this is a, a sort of connection where y'all can end up y'all would end up settling down with each other in the future and possibly even having a family like having children you know this is a couple who um, has settled down and they have their kids it's like they have everything together so wow the ten of cups is actually a very rare card this card very rarely pops up in my reading because like I said you know a lot of my readings are not like happy they're not always positive because you know unfortunately a lot of people are in toxic connections or they're just dealing with people who don't have good intentions for them. But group one, you guys have a very positive reading. Um, so with this Knight of Swords here, this person is so passionate. Okay, this person is so passionate about you that sometimes you probably question their actions. Like I'm, what I'm seeing here with this Knight of Swords is that Sometimes you find it very hard to understand why they do certain things and just know that they, you know, they come off that way because they're nervous. They're nervous and they're passionate about you. It's sort of like you're dealing with someone who is, is kind of like a dork, you know, even, even if this person is like mature and serious, when it comes to you, it's like they, they, they feel like a little kid. They feel sort of dorky, you know, because of how, how strongly they feel about you and how passionate they are of you. And so with this Knight of Swords, I'm seeing that sometimes you find them confusing because you're unable to really, like, pinpoint how they feel about you. Like, this person might also be very spontaneous. Like, they just act 
they just act really nervous okay so they act that way because they're nervous about you and they're just so anxious to be with you so sometimes they might come off as a little bit odd you you get what i'm saying kind of like a little bit dorky or uh, yeah group one i'm pretty sure you know what i'm saying when i say this person it's just very hard for you to understand why they act a certain way towards you and that's because they're nervous okay so if you're unable to really pinpoint why they do certain things that's because they're very very nervous and that makes their actions seem sort of odd so with this death card here Okay, what I'm getting from this death card intuitively is that in the past, this person had a sort of rough past. Perhaps they were known for being a player or they were known for not really being the type to commit to a relationship or to commit to someone. I'm seeing that when it comes to you, simply what I'm seeing with this death card is that when it comes to you, they're willing to put put the past behind okay they're willing to um end their old ways so if this person had bad habits in the past like if they were a player or if they were afraid of committing to someone whatever their fear was whatever this bad habit of theirs was when it comes to you they're willing to really put an end to that and just put it all behind them to become a better person for you it's like when this person thinks of you this person thinks so highly of you especially here with this ten of cups they see you as a long-term partner right they they see that potential they see that this connection could lead to a long-term commitment a serious commitment that can lead to marriage, having a family and settling down. So it's sort of like when, when it comes to you, this person acts very mature. So they had tendencies of being immature in their past or like with their past relationships. This person knows that they have to be mature for you because they know that like you're the real deal. So whatever BS they were doing in the past and not necessarily to you, but like to their past lovers, they know that they can't do that with you because they actually take you seriously. Like they know that this connection is serious, okay? So with this sun card here, what I'm seeing is, okay, so with this sun card, this sun card is telling me two things, okay? So this could be relating to your energy or it could be relating to their, their energy or even perhaps both of you guys went through this, right? So what I'm seeing with this sun card is this person is aware that you have been hurt in the past, they're aware of that. And some of them, what I'm also getting is that the only reason why they know about your hurtful past, perhaps like a very hurtful past relationship, is because they've researched about you. They've heard about you and they know that your past relationship was very, um, very hurtful, very painful and perhaps very unhealthy because this Ten of Swords symbolizes someone who was heavily betrayed. This is Ten Swords to the back. So this person is either aware that you have been hurt before in the past. And what I'm seeing is if that is the case, if you didn't tell this person that you had a, you know, a very bad, a very bad past relationship, they've, they figured that out about you. So perhaps they did some research on you and they figured out that your, your past lover was very hurtful towards you. Or what I'm also sensing is that this person is so optimistic about love to the point where they probably had a very um a very hurtful past relationship you know so their past lover whatever connection they had with their past lover perhaps was very toxic and very painful but they're so optimistic to the point where they you know this person okay it, it's all making sense now especially here with this death card this person is willing to put a lot of things behind they're willing to leave a lot of things in their past in order to be a better person a new person for you so even if they did have a troubled past whether that's in their personal life like their relationship whatever it was that was troubling them they're willing to put that aside in order to bring some happiness into this connection so whether it was your past that was was hurtful and they're wanting to just make you happy or perhaps their past was very was very hurtful regardless of that whether it was coming from from your side or their side they're willing to put that hurt behind and just bring happiness to this new connection that they have so 
group one you guys had a very lovely reading this is like goals okay i wish i could have a reading like this um so thank you guys so much group one for watching and please stay tuned because i do post quite frequently it's just that right now i'm quite busy but like i said by may 13th 2019 um as of april 28th because i don't know when people are going to watch this all right but as of april 28th 2019 um i'm currently not available to do love readings but I will be available on May 13th, 2019 to do love readings, okay? Personal readings, video readings. So thank you so much, Group 1, and you guys have a great day. Hi, Group 2, and welcome to your reading. So I've already pre-shuffled your cards, and the way I'm doing your reading is quite different this time. If you are familiar with my videos here on YouTube, I'm sure you know that I typically do a past, present, and a future spread. But because this question is so direct, um, I figured that I would just really get to the point and, you know, not really bother with telling you about what happened in the past and present and future. Don't worry, I'm still going to be doing that in my future videos, but I just feel like this this question, you know, to find out what you need to know about this person is, is it's such a direct question. So I figured let me just pull out three cards and ask for clarification and so we can really just get to the point of this video. So... The three cards that popped out for you, group two, is the Queen of Wands, and I asked for clarity on the Queen of Wands, and you got the Wheel of Fortune. Next, you got the Knight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and for clarity on this Knight of Swords, you got the Two of Cups, and for clarity on this Two of Pentacles, you got the Page of Swords. So what I'm seeing here, um, group two, is that this person that you're dealing with um, is very you know they are extremely indecisive um they have tendencies of juggling and what i'm also understanding from this queen of wands is that this person has a hard time making decisions about their love life because they simply do not know themselves okay they are not self-aware and when you're not self-aware and you don't know what you like and what you dislike how are you supposed to know what you want in a partner and what you don't want in a partner you get what i'm saying like how are you supposed to know what you want from someone else if you don't even know what you want from yourself you understand and so this person is incredibly incredibly indecisive and they're not only indecisive, but they're also very passionate. Here with this Knight of Swords, this is the type of person where they can never really finish what they started, okay? They'll be passionate about someone or something one day, and then the very next day, they're passionate about someone else. They can never really stick to one person or one thing. You know, when they want something, they're very determined, very passionate to get it. But once they finally get what they wanted, they lose passion. So this person lacks a lot of um, stability. They're not very balanced and they're not someone to depend on. So going back to this Queen of Wands, you know, one thing that I've recently noticed about this Queen of Wands card is that this, in this image, if you look at what she's holding, in one hand she's holding a wand and in the next hand she's holding a flower. And these two things contrast each other. You know, a wand and a flower symbolizes very different thing. Personally, what I what I see the wands as in a tarot reading is a need to defend yourself. Wands to me um, represents a battle, a struggle, an issue, a problem that that someone has to overcome. And so with this wand here, especially the fact that she's holding a flower in the other hand, because these two these two things that she's holding are so different, you know, they, they contrast each other and they symbolize completely different things. What I'm intuitively getting from this Queen of Wands is that this person who you're dealing with, they, like I said previously, they have a tendency of juggling. And I'm seeing that they're juggling you and another person. Now this is a general reading, so they could be um, they could be juggling multiple people. They could be juggling more than two people, but what I'm seeing here is that they're juggling you with someone else, and I, I'm seeing this wand and this flower that they're holding as 
their their indecision so perhaps this person has a very rough history a very rough um, past with you perhaps something didn't go as smoothly perhaps this person did something to um ruin ruin the connection or lose your trust but whatever happened between you and this person in the past was very negative and it ended very badly but this person it's like they're deciding they're deciding whether to to either stay with you or go back to you depending on what occurred they're 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 indecisive about whether they should go back to you or stay with you because if they do choose to do that they know that here with this wands it's something that's going to be very hard to do they know that they have to overcome a lot of things and and you know this person isn't certain of if they want to put in that that sort of effort to go back to you and fix whatever happened but here in this other hand um this queen is holding a flower so this symbolizes that this person is conflicted about which path to take if they take your path where they go back to you or choose to work things out with you they know that it's gonna be very hard okay they know that whatever happened between you guys in the past was very tough there was an issue in the past but they also feel like if they move on they could easily get someone else basically what I'm saying is this person is indecisive about you and someone else okay they feel like if they choose you it's going to be hard okay it's going to be something that they're going to have to overcome or really put in a lot of energy to fix but if they choose someone new it'll be easier for them okay it'll be easier to get to get to this new person right because this is a whoever they're whoever this other person is that they're dealing with this is someone new and they feel like they can start a new a new journey with this person like they just feel like it'll be an easier path to seek someone new and not go back with you so just think about you know i feel like this wands represents how they feel about you you know it, it there it's something about this connection this past connection whatever you guys had in the past something didn't go right and they feel like it's going to be perhaps a battle it's going to be something that's very tough to fix or they can choose to start a new beginning with someone else which will be an easier path to go on but with this rule of fortune here what i'm seeing is that this person has a very has a lot of bad luck they're not even though i understand this person has a lot of bad luck and typically i don't have reversals in my cards if they do happen to pop out i still read them but i i don't only use the cards to figure out what's going on i also use my intuition and what i'm intuitive intuitively getting with this wheel of fortune is that this person you're dealing with they have a lot of bad luck when it comes to relationships and that that simply stems from them being indecisive this person never knows what they want it's like they're so in, they're indecisive about everything and they're they don't realize that their their indecision stems from them not being self-aware they don't they don't know about themselves right they've never taken the time to really evaluate who they are and figure out their their wants their needs their likes and their dislikes this is the type of person where they are motivated by their passion so they're very they're very emotional but they're not not very logical they're not very reasonable right because this is someone who's passionate but it's like they they start something and they have a tendency a tendency of not finishing it so this is not the most um their judgment skills are not the best but going back to this wheel of fortune this person has a lot of bad luck because of their indecision because they have a tendency of um, juggling multiple people dealing with multiple people and that's where that karma i'm seeing this wheel of fortune as sort of like karma and this person is completely unaware this person is just not self-aware it's like they they do things without really without really thinking okay they act without thinking and so and so going to this knight of swords like i was saying this person is incredibly passionate i don't want to say that they intentionally play mind games because this is just you're just dealing with someone who's naturally indecisive but what i'm seeing here with this knight of swords is that this person 
they they're really good at making you feel stuck it's like one day you feel like this person loves you and then the next day you feel like they're no longer interested and that's because this person can't figure out themselves this person doesn't know what they want so of course you're not going to know how they feel about you because they don't even know how they feel about you right and so with this two of cups here group two what i'm seeing is that this person yeah this person is definitely dealing with multiple people and I feel like you're aware of that. I feel like you're aware of, you know, their lack of stability, their their um, stubbornness to commit. I feel like you're you're sort of aware of that 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 side of them. This person is offering their love to someone else. To, to be honest with you, they're offering their love to someone else. This person is dealing with someone else while dealing with you, like at the same time. I'm not saying that they dealt with you in the past and you guys separated and now they're with someone else. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that while they're with you, while they're dealing with you, they're also dealing with someone else. Because here with this um, two of pentacles, they're juggling. They're juggling their options. They're juggling you and this other person who they're dealing with. And with this page of swords, oh my gosh, this person is so indecisive. And it's going to be so hard for them to change. Because I'm seeing here that even when this person does make a decision, whether they choose to stay with you or choose to stay with the other person they're still going to be looking back at someone else it's like if they choose to stay with you they're still going to be looking back at the, at the other person or even vice versa if they choose to be with the other person they're still going to be looking back at you it's like this person is is never certain they're never fully satisfied so the important thing that you need to know about this person, what you need to know group two is that you're just dealing with a very indecisive person. This person is, oh my gosh, indecision. I'm just seeing indecision everywhere in your spread. They're so indecisive and it's up to you to figure out if you want to deal with someone like that. But that's just the message. That's just something that you need to know about your love interest, okay? So group two, thank you so, so, so much for watching my videos and you guys have a great day. Hi group three and welcome to your reading. If you are familiar with my my videos here on YouTube, I'm sure you're used to me doing a past, present, and a future spread. But for this reading, I decided to do something new just because the question is so straightforward. And so what I did was I've, I've already shuffled your cards and I took three cards that popped out for you and then I asked for three more clarity cards. So the card that popped out for you, group three, was the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress card, and the King of Swords. And then I asked for clarity cards. So to clarify the Ace of Pentacles, you got the Page of Cups. Next, you got the Empress card. And to clarify the Empress card, you got the Eight of Cups. Next, you got the King of Swords. And to clarify the King of Swords, you got the Nine of Cups. So what I'm seeing here for you guys, group three, is I kept on intuitively getting cat and mouse, like that cat and mouse game, that chaser and runner game, where you are chasing someone who has a tendency of Re either rejecting you or running away from your love. I'm seeing that you always have to put in so much effort to love this person, to get this person to accept your love. It's like you're the chaser and they are the runner. So what I'm seeing here is with this ace of pentacles, you are the type of person where you have a lot of, you have a lot of love for this person group 3 this this love interest of yours you have so much love for them that you're literally willing to give them the world it's like anything that this person wants you will be willing to give it to them with this ace of pentacles you're willing to offer so much of yourself to this person and here with this page of cups what i'm intuitively getting from this page of cups is that Perhaps your passion can sometimes make you look unrealistic because you're so emotionally driven for this person. You might have a tendency of not being logical or reasonable because you're, you're mostly driven by that passion that you have for this person. Um, and this page of cups is just sort of telling you to 
you know, don't lose your, your logic. Don't lose your reasoning. You can love someone, you can like someone a lot, but never lose your sense of logic because sometimes our emotions can lead us to doing a lot of, a lot of vulnerable things, all right? Sometimes our, our emotions can can make us look very illogical, like we're we're blinded in love, sort of, okay? And so with this Page of Cups, this Page of Cups represents that you're so passionate about this person. You're so passionate about wanting to give your love to this person that you almost forget to have as as nicely as I can put it, it's sort of like you have a tendency of being a little too vulnerable towards this person, you know, and, and you chase after this person. That's, that's just what I'm seeing. It's like you, you have to put in so much energy for this person to accept or embrace your love. And this Page of Cups is just saying for you to really reevaluate how you come across to this person because a lot of times when you do chase someone that can be a huge ego boost to to this person right like if you constantly have someone who is just so anxious to be with you they they can sometimes come off as desperate to to nicely put it i'm not trying to be rude but you know when you're when you're constantly chasing someone or getting someone to see your worth it can make you look desperate in this person's eyes. And, and depending on the type of person that you're dealing with, especially if you're dealing with someone who has has trouble with accepting good things, if you're dealing with someone who, you know, they have troubles, they have a lot of trouble with accepting good things in their life because they feel like it's too good to be true. If that's the kind of person that you're dealing with, they might feel like you're like acting a little bit too desperate towards them. And even if they don't personally feel that way about you, that's just how you look. That's just how you come off. And this Page of Cups is basically telling you to sort of evaluate the way you're going about this connection because you don't want to look, you know, desperate to someone. You don't want to look like you're I, like obsessed with them. You get what I'm saying? Like there's nothing wrong with really liking someone. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being passionate about them. But also don't forget your self-worth, okay? Don't forget to value yourself and to value value your time. If someone doesn't want to willingly accept your love, then go and give it to someone else. Go and give it to someone else who is going to mutually feel the same way about you. But, you know, this page of cups is just is just telling you to sort of look at yourself, evaluate yourself and evaluate the way you've been going about this connection, because it seems like you're so passionate and it's making you sort of blinded in love. It's making you sort of to like, you know, lose your sense of reasoning, lose your sense of of logic because you're so emotional, you're so emotionally driven and this page of cups what i'm also intuitively hearing with this page of cups is that perhaps you have a lot more learning to do you have a lot more things to experience in life you have a lot more wisdom to acquire especially about love and relationships and that's probably okay that makes sense so perhaps you feel so strongly about this person and you've never felt this way about anybody else right you never felt this way about anybody else which is why you're coming off this way which is why sometimes you you come off as a little too passionate is because you're still a little bit um inexperienced you're still a little bit inexperienced about love and about relationships but this page of cups is just saying you know don't don't make yourself look naive right don't be naive in love you know, you can be emotional, you can be passionate about someone, but also remember to be reasonable and be realistic. So next you got this Empress card and, ooh, you know what I heard from this Empress card when I looked at it was like, what I heard was, I'm the full package. It's like, you know that you can offer so much to this person, group three, and it's not just what you see in yourself, it's what other people see in you. Like other people see you as the type of person who is the full package. That's other people see the kind of love that you can give to this person. Other people see the potential of this connection. 
and I'm also getting that it's perhaps it's like their friends someone like there there's people around you guys who are fans like they're fans of you guys they're they're supporters like they want you guys to get together because they are aware of how passionate and how much you really want to be with this person it's like I can sort of imagine this person's friends perhaps their friends are like telling them like dude get with this girl like this girl can give you so much this girl loves you so much that's just that's just what I'm hearing but with this empress card you do have the ability to give this person a lot and you know it you are you are aware of what you can bring to the to the table like you have you have a lot of things together in your life but what i'm seeing is it's like this person has a lot of trouble with seeing that this person has a lot of trouble with seeing your value and with this eight of um eight of cups what i'm seeing is oh so as I looked at this Eight of Cup, the message that I heard from this card is all your effort is going to go in vain. It's like you know how passionate you were about this person and how much work and energy you put into this person. You you put into getting this person to accept you, you know, to accept your love and to be with you. And so with this King of Swords clarified by this Nine of Cups, what I'm intuitively sensing from these cards is, you know, these cards are telling me why this person is the way that they are. This person has a hard time with accepting the good things in life simply because they are overly cautious and they're just very paranoid. It's something, you know, something happened to this person in their past that has made them so incredibly paranoid and so incredibly pessimistic to the point where they are unable to accept the good things in life. It's almost like they feel like certain things are just too good to be true. That's why this person, that's why you had to chase this person down. That's why you had to put in so much work, effort, and energy into getting this person to accept what you so badly wanted to give them. And what I'm seeing here with this King of Swords is that, especially the fact that this Nine of Cups clarifies this King of Swords, your your love interest is the type of person, they, they have a really um nasty mentality it's like they're not very loyal and they feel like they don't need anybody in life which is why they which is why they're not very loyal it's like this person they can easily discharge people they can easily disregard people regardless of the good things that you you have done for them in the past it's like because they feel like they don't need anybody they find it very easy to leave people in the past. They find it very easy to um, cut people, you know, cut ties with people. And this person, they have a very huge ego, even though they're very sensitive. This person, I'm telling you, this person went through something in the past, which is why they find it very hard to accept good things that people want to give them but this person protects their sensitivity by being very prideful they have a lot of ego and they feel like they don't need anybody because here with this nine of cups they feel like all they need is themselves they feel like they can provide for themselves they feel like they already have they feel like they have everything they need by themselves and that they don't need anybody else this person has a really big ego but it's it's like a defense mechanism right that's why they feel like they don't need you that's why they find it very hard to accept the good things in life this person has a tendency of making things harder than they need to be because they can't accept it's like they don't they don't like accepting help from other people and the fact that you're such a giving person you would think that this person would like that about you that that you were willing to give so much to them but it actually made them feel very uncomfortable because they're so used to providing for themselves and they just have that nasty mentality of i don't need anyone i can do things by myself I'm able to give myself what I need, which is why they, they, they're not very loyal, which is why they have tendencies of leaving, like cutting people off.
this person's very stuck in their ways too. It's just, it's just who they are. They're very stuck in their ways. And if you think that they can change, that you can change them, then, I mean, you know, good luck. But like I said, this person, it's something that stems from their past. And this person is very, very stuck in their ways. They have a very big ego. But um, group three, thank you so much for watching my videos and you guys have a great day.